neighborhood user just posted about a store being held up. I can only open it if I make a sale. What kind of moron? Damn it! The last of him! Time to rejoin your friends on the island of prison, my guys! Need to try Finn. Again. This use calls from this number. Please hang up now. Seriously? You see him close to renovation, and the underground moves right in. Finn's gotta be inside. Away from me, suck it up. We don't have time for this. Huh? <sighs> 
All right, let's see what kind of security they've got. Same kind of barrier they had at Gym Theater. I need to drain the generators. In those shacks, which are locked and powered down. Need a new power source, like that giant spinning mobile. to work. Webs won't reach. <laughs> oh yeah. This will work. Need to wire it to the shacks. That's one. Feeling good. This is working. You need to finish draining the generators. Grounds toys.
winning the science fair, getting to show off our converter here. We were so proud. <sighs> Exhibit was down that hall. Underground cash. Yeah. Up there. Finn? Come on. We need to finish this. You and me. Gotta be with our project, down that hall. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hey, where'd they put us? I've got the Welcome museum map the on my phone. Our project's in a special exhibit on the top floor. Reality. Can't wait to see our names on the little sign, like real scientists. Today, Oscorp Science Center. Tomorrow, every major museum in the world. Didn't you use the data marine? Algae farms are the key to sustainable, healthy living beneath the sea. Commercial and industrial algae cultivation is already used in a number of products, from colorants to pharmaceuticals. I wonder what algae tastes like. Probably kale. Ugh, I hate kale. Since the mid 20th century, scientists have envisioned human habitation beneath the sea. Looking out your window, someday you might see the brightly striped clownfish, or even the menacing anglerfish. I'm naming that one Howard. You name one. Uh, Leviathan. Love it! This model combines the design of a submarine with the deep sea integrity of an unmanned underwater vehicle. Oscorp's prototype would unlock new possibilities in humanity's ability to explore. <laughs> you and I gotta get one of these. Bet we could build one out of a vacuum cleaner and some old tires if we put our minds to it. Think underwater living sounds like science fiction? Think again. Underwater habitats have been used around the world since the 1960s. This model proposes a permanent residence beneath the waves. Today, New Yorkers are building up to save space. Tomorrow, we could be building beneath the sea. Pass. What, you scared? Of sharks, the dark, tiny enclosed spaces? It's a no for me. The Earth is bigger than you think. 95% of the Earth's oceans remain unexplored and could be the next frontier in human habitation. It's weird to think how little we know about our own planet. This dive suit is one of the first developed in the early 18th century. The first pressure-proof diving suit was developed with salvage work in mind. Today's suits such as these are used by salvage workers, scientists, and explorers. Think they'll let me try it on? Would love to see you try to walk around in that thing. Can't be worse than those shoes you wore to the spring dance. Oh, come on. Yours were at least an inch higher than mine. I've never been here before. Gotta love Let's go to the main hall. Cap. What do you think? It's amazing. Special exhibits upstairs. There's the elevator. We've got time to look around first. Architectural innovations are the key to human survival on extraterrestrial planets. This model home would protect human inhabitants from the low temperatures on Mars. Check it out. You want a house on Mars? Sure. If I could bring my mics, audio setup, 
Sampler? They won't let you take all that. They will if they want good music on Mars. Using a shape memory alloy, or memory metal, Oscorp scientists created this prototype of a metal that could change its shape while maintaining integrity. One day, memory metal could be used in many types of machinery, and even in your own home. Whoa, check it out. Metal that changes shape. I like the idea, but it looks kind of basic. Bet it could be improved. This model proposes a terraforming and housing initiative on Mars, our closest neighbor in the solar system. This community is designed to draw on abundant water and counteract low temperatures, making human life possible on the red planet. It's like a whole little community on Mars. Needs coffee shops and street art. Oh, come on, it's just button mashing. So you admit defeat? Never. Oh, faster! Come on, Rocket Buddy! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, go, 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 Gotta be quick. Thin two miles. Womp womp. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Up, 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 up. Go, oh, go, go, go! Faster! Come on! Gotcha. Found something I'm better at than you. Not for long. Two wins does not a master make. Yes. Go, 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 This Oscorp rover, adapted from models currently used on the moon, can be operated as a man or unmanned vehicle. Used to carry minerals and find water sources, the Oscorp rover would make exploration possible on Mars. Scans for minerals, carries people across toxic wastelands. What can't it do? Can you imagine driving this thing down fifth? Move, pedestrians. <laughs> Solar energy, already popular on Earth, could provide heat and electricity for space stations, shuttles, and extraterrestrial settlements. These Oscorp stickers show how flexible and affordable solar cells can be. Go on, take a sticker. Oh, shiny. Ooh, shiny? Those are portable adhesive solar panels. Ooh, portable shiny. Would you ever move to space? You know, if you could. Only if my family came to. Chance to start over. Make a name for yourself. Or get into a galactic battle. When's Rick gonna get here? He just texted. Said he was headed into the subway. So it could be anywhere from 30 minutes to two hours? Basically. Do you have tickets for the special exhibit? Oh, um... Our project is on display. Didn't think we needed tickets. You do, and we're sold out. 
can't let you go upstairs. Thanks anyway. So we need another way in. She said there's no more tickets. Right, but see that door? The hallway behind it wraps around to the elevator. Can't just break in. We have to. They're taking down the exhibit tomorrow, and then we'll never see it. Locked. I recognize that kind of lock. If you shine a light at it, it'll open. The flashlights on our phones will work, but they won't reach. They will if we find a way to slide something reflective under the door. Something reflective. It'd be nice to find something mutable. Mutable? You mean changes shape? Look at you breaking out the fancy vocab. <laughs> Shut up. spacecraft explore our planet, solar system, and galaxy. To communicate with them, scientists use radio antennas to send and receive messages across local and interstellar space. Oh, I bet the sound quality on these are dope. Not from space. Not gonna help us get past that door. Shape memory alloy. I could change the shape on the museum app. This stuff is crazy. I think it's a. That's it. Take it. Don't let anyone see. Got it. Let's go. Whoa, oh, man. Oh. Sorry. All good. Still need something reflective. Look how the external tools interface directly with the command module's computer. We could recreate the idea, but with the neural interface. It would overload our central power. Not if we integrated it over the entire mesh from multiple entry points. Hmm. Do you think you can handle it? With enough time and a lot of coffee? Absolutely. <laughs> I'll supply the coffee. Well done, Peter. I couldn't do this without you. We should probably head back to the lab. We've overstayed our watch. Oh, hey, look! Solar mirrors. And sticky on the back. <laughs> 